What up, world? Top of the morning, man. And I'm back to y'all with another one. And um, this one really ain't about no trending topic out here, man. That's, you know, over the net or over the tube or nothing like that. This ain't about <clears throat> no hot topic that's popping out here. You know what I'm saying? This is just some shit I want to get off of my chest. You know, and I've been seeing a lot of this shit going on. You know, and it's, it's, it's the reason a lot of drama is out here in the streets. But it's a lot of flexing, man, on these social media platforms, man. Um, it's a lot of flexing on these social media platforms. And what I mean by flexing is, <clears throat> for those of y'all that don't know, man, it's too many niggas out here doing too much flashing out here, you know. And they wonder why a lot of motherfuckers be on them, you feel me? Or a lot of motherfuckers be at them and want to beef with them, gang. Um, <clears throat> it's just not happening in my city. It's all over. You feel me? It's, it's state to state. And y'all know it's a lot of shit that go on everywhere. You know, I had a motherfucker tell me, um, you know, man, just because you're going to leave, you know, uh, this city don't mean, you know, it's going to be better elsewhere. You feel me? Um, Yeah, it don't. But at the end of the day, I be prepared for that. And, you know, I address that and I know how to address that. And I also know how to carry myself. So when I do got to cross that bridge, but. One thing I don't do is all that flex, and I ain't finna be out here flashing and, you know, all that bougie shit, all that, that rubber ducking shit, man. To me, that shit is, like, old, man. That shit is dead, man. That shit back in 2000. You feel me? Like, <clears throat> definitely for grown men out here, man, who trying to set an example. You know, for the other youngins out here, bro, like, I ain't saying that's what I'm trying to do. I, I'm not I'm not the man out here who trying to set an example or nothing like that, but I do give out good knowledge and advice and messages, but <clears throat> it's men out here who actually be speaking it from their mouths that they're trying to set an example, but what example are you trying to set if you out here flexing and flashing, man? You know, and that's a lot of reason these cats getting caught lacking, you feel me? And they getting caught lacking on live, they getting popped up all in their cars and shit on live. All type of shit going on, man. I mean, if y'all sit back and y'all do y'all research, y'all will see some of the shit also. And I know a few of y'all be watching most definitely. Like I said, if you're from the streets, <clears throat> you want to see, you got to see, and you got to peep. End of the day, I think the shit is going haywire. And it's a lot of young niggas, my nigga, that's doing this shit. Um, you know, it was a question, uh, you know, that I seen on the tube. Somebody asked another young gentleman, do you think if they let Larry Hoover out, will he be able to set his portion of the game that he runs or that he, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, lead over? Will he be able to set some type of structure or order? And I ain't just speaking on the game, but I'm just speaking as far as the, the streets, period, because the gang population is, uh, you know, majority of the streets. A lot of people out here gang bang in the streets. A lot of people set bang and they set is within a gang, so, you know, and, and uh, uh, the other gentleman said, no, nah. he said, because at this time, there's some young niggas out here who don't even give a fuck about what these OGs saying out here, you know what I'm saying, he like, there's some young niggas out here who ain't even trying to listen to what an old head saying, and low key, I had a young nigga say that to me before in my lifetime, like, G, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got nothing. I, I ain't hearing nothing you talking. You know what I'm saying? If Blase would do this, that, and the other. I guess the young cat must have underestimated me, I guess, because, you know, the way I look or whatever. But I told him, just because I look like this don't mean I'm fucked up, gang. You feel me? I got my mind on right. So, at the end of the day, I ain't really worried about what another motherfucker think about me on how I look. Or, you feel me? At the end of the day, as long as I know my looks is... Uh, um, appreciative of my own liking, you know, then that's good enough for me, you know, unless the wife say, hey, yo, babe, uh, you should change the look up, but other than that, man, I tell a nigga, I'm, I'm, I'm beyond the uh, day and ages of where I care how I look, man, and, and what another motherfucker think about me, because if you go living your life like that, gang, you ain't gonna make it far, you know, and the young nigga proceeded. But, you know, in the midst of that, I'm telling the young nigga, like, dog, it's too much flexing out here already. It's too many young cats out here already losing their lives, man. These cats ain't even seeing the age of 30. You feel me? And these cats dropping like flies out here. You feel me? And they getting popped up left and right. They getting set up by their friends. They getting set up by their buddies. And this shit ain't cool. And it's our race, my nigga. It's black, man. 
You feel me? So at the end of the day, I feel like, man, shit, reach one, then each one can teach one. And as as a black man, my nigga, we should all be trying to reach one, and then each one can teach one, you know? I mean, some some motherfuckers ain't gonna listen to what you're saying, but still, it's, it's the thought that count, and it's the, the whole uh, uh, principle of you try to get this message to this cat. It's not like you just say Ali aside and watch the bullshit happen, like, hey, let this nigga kill himself. Nah, you know what I'm saying? You at least put forth the effort. And um, that's what I was trying to tell the nigga. The nigga wasn't understanding me, you feel me? Like I said, this was a while back, and that's why I stopped fucking with niggas like that. You know, I used to have a lot of friends like that, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of friends that I thought really was them niggas, man. Them niggas was out here trying to get me shammed and shundled up when I should have been listening to my good friends, you feel me? I should have been listening and understanding what my other niggas was saying. Like, bro, you shouldn't even be fucking around with shit like that. Like, my nigga, you got too much potential. You feel me? Definitely at the point I wasn't even flexing either. Or none of the, the good people I was fucking with was flexing. They was so humble. They was down to earth. They was like, you feel me? They was that, that digger lodge, you understand? So... I took that and I ran with it. And now, as I'm getting older and I'm peeping and I'm raising my shorties and shit and I'm paying attention out here and I'm watching, you know, each and way, you feel me? I'm playing the mirrors and all that shit. I'm seeing there's too much flexing going on. Not only is the streets doing it already, the streets trying to, you know, copycat and mimic the motherfucking industry. Which industry y'all ask? Any industry. Any industry that an icon stands 10 toes in. That industry, you feel me? Like, these cats are out here, bro, trying to mimic, like, exactly that. I'm not understanding why or what for. You got the youngest of the youngest artists that's getting signed, you feel me? They might get signed $750,000. You feel me? Or or a million or two hundred thousand, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And right away what they do, they go do a sleeve with the money. You feel me? Right away what they do, they go to the jewelry store, you know, ice box and get iced out. I never understood that. Y'all making them niggas rich is a bitch. I was telling my wife that, like, damn, babe, they making them motherfuckers rich is a bitch. And you know who really making them rich? Our race. I ain't really never seen no white artists that go get signed, my nigga. When they do get signed, I ain't never seen them motherfuckers really run into no motherfucking jewelry store. And if they is running to the jewelry store, they ain't running to the same jewelry store that our kind run into. I can tell you that the motherfuckers probably going to K's uh, or 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 um, what's that other one? Um, Every kiss begins with care. That one fucking diamond uh, commercial. They going there. They going ducked off, you feel me? Like, they going to somewhere we ain't seeing. But you got all our people flexing. They want to flex the money off, run right to the spot where everybody know they going to go, where everybody expect them to go, my nigga. That's like a kill, kill. If a motherfucker really want to sweat you and pop out on you and kill you, you feel me? I'm just saying, educational purpose speaking, usage only. Like, that's, that's dead ass serious, you know? And I feel like we got to start watching that shit, bro. It's too much flexing out here, man. And I don't think the slaves really got it yet. So I'm hoping the streets get it. You feel me? And it's big out here in the streets. Everybody know everybody. Like, you feel me? One day a motherfucker wake up and get jealous of what you got just cause. Low key, they probably already was jealous of you because of you and your character and your profile and all that shit that goes with it and who you is and your whole DNA makeup. You feel me? Like, don't give them the notion or don't give them a foot in the door to, you know, have any other reason to want to hate stop flexing, gang. It's too much of that going on. And um, now, shit, I ain't even gonna lie, man. The kids out here want to flex just like what they see in these videos and all that extra shit, man. I remember seeing um, <clears throat> my youngest son, man. He wanted a chain so bad, you know, and, and, and he be watching NLE Chopper, and that's what's crazy. You know, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm spitting knowledge to him, like, bro, these rappers don't be really on what they own, you feel me? Son, like, a lot of motherfuckers got to do this, and they got to speak this type of uh, uh, wording into their music just to keep up this image and, and, and this uh this character persona that they don't build of themselves. In all reality, that's not even really them. You know, and, and, you know, I be trying to tell them, 
I try to tell all my kids, man. I try to tell my nieces, nephews, all the youngest that that's not really them, bro. And these kids really like, you know, they'll combat with you. Oh, man, no, you wrong. You wrong. That's really him. He, You know, that's his alter ego. And that's how I look at it, you know. And that's how I think a lot of us look at it out here. That's these cats alter egos. But you get these cats in a different scenery or a different environment. And they act totally different. Honestly, that's why I stopped doing the music, man. You know, I was telling uh, I was telling uh, my brother that yesterday, you know, and uh, we was discussing some shit like that on why, you know, I didn't continue the music legacy thing. And I was like, man, I had to break it down. Like, honestly, bro, I'm, I'm most definitely talented with this shit. I definitely, I definitely, forgive me for that word stumble, I definitely got the skill to build, you know, and kill in the music uh, field, but... I don't want to do that, bro. Like, definitely, if you see the route they going now, y'all see all the routes the music game taking. I'm, I know y'all watching the hip-hop era. Every artist that come out, every hip-hop artist definitely black. They got to flex. It's sort of like it's, 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 it's sort of like a job description for them. I ain't even going to lie. That's one of the, the, the hip-hop, black hip-hop artists' job description, if you ask me. You got to flex. You got to be flashy. You got to have big change. You got to look like this. And you got to talk like this. And every song you do got to have this certain slogan in it. You feel me? And that's, to me, that's a fucking job description, my nigga. Just like a regular job. You got to clean this. You got to wash this. You got to change that. Before you leave, you got to do this. You got to do that. You, you, y'all understanding me? Y'all following me? So, <clears throat> if that's the case, y'all mean to tell me these motherfuckers ain't being worked? And to to follow that, if they are being worked, why is their bosses, the labels, why is their bosses allowing all of this, you know, um, uh, publicity on themselves at this rate? And look, 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 the look at the publicity, my niggas, negative publicity. It make a nigga want to come kill him. Definitely behind all the shit they talking about and saying and showing in their videos. You got kids out here that's hungry. You got niggas out here that's hungry. You got old ass people out here that's hungry, starving. My nigga probably never had to plate them celebs or, you know, big heads, you know, higher ups that got the money on them. Never had that plate that bro them eating from. And they want it. They want a taste of it. They starving, you feel me? You know, and um, with that being said, they start, you know, following these motherfuckers. They get, uh, what you call that? Super fans. They get super fan crazy, you know, and start catching on to Addies and they start paying attention to every show they're going to be at, where they uh, tour is going to be at, what little cities they stopping in. They start watching these artists' favorite food places to go to and shit like that and start popping up on motherfuckers all types of crazy. You know, like a lot of motherfuckers be like, yeah, he got that money. He can move. He can do this. Man, listen, life is life, my nigga. A motherfucker hunt you down. Just like, you know, regularly. A motherfucker hunt you down with or with no money if they dedicated and serious, gang. Like, it's that serious out here. Don't think just because, you know. And that's the thing, too. The tables turn in this world. And in 2021, some people got so simple-minded that they think it's just this way. And they think only certain shit still happen. Like, man, my niggas, some niggas still stick to their old roots. Some niggas can still splinter sell you. Like, some niggas can still, you feel me? Like, some niggas really out here still hunting and shit like for real for real you know and it ain't shit a motherfucker do you and go to sleep type shit and that's what these flexing motherfuckers that be on these social media platforms make a person want to do honestly and I'm only speaking from experience of the years I used to be like down and out my nigga and really thriving for the next fucking what a uh, blunt or a fucking dollar just to get a, 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 a square or some goofy ass shit like that like my nigga I'm much better off now though I'm much more you know humbled in the mind, humbled physically, and I'm much more stable mentally and physically, you know what I'm saying, like, it's, so I'm, I'm able now, but, you know, it's cats out here that's not able, and they see that shit, that flexing shit, and they know they can't get to these celebs like that, these big up motherfuckers, these icons, so they looking for the next motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, they looking for the next motherfucker. Dog, my nose itching like a motherfucker, dog. I feel like allergies bothering me, dog. I don't know. I hope not. Because that shit never goes swell. Nose get stuffy. Eyes be all fucking red and running. But anyway, man, 
you know, that, that make them hungry, bro. And they start looking for the next Vic. And the next Vic poss possibly can be you in a city. You know what I'm saying? Not saying you, but I'm saying like you in general. You know what I'm speaking? Worldly. Like, it could, you know? These young niggas don't get no fuck. But, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, man. I just want to drop that, man. You feel me? I just want to drop that, man. You know, too much flex. And I think we need to stop, man. And we need to take a step back and reflect on life a little bit. And start on channeling that energy y'all got. You feel me? All that little negative energy. Channel that to to something else. Channel that to some productive shit. Channel that energy to some positive shit. Channel that shit to some meditation. Channel that shit to some more... um. Reflect on your faith, motherfucker. Uh, rebuild your, your faith. Whatever you do, man, just stay positive and stay on tip. You feel me? Because that's that's what I be on. I be trying to stay focused too. You feel me? And stay on tip. You feel me? And keep my people on tip. But um, at the end of the day, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Uh, to the next video, man. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I most definitely appreciate you and hit that like. And if you have subscribed, hit that like and that notification bell so you'll be tapped in and in tune to when I drop another video and y'all can catch the content, man. Um, you know, like I said, y'all stay safe, man. There's always love to y'all out there. Keep your kids safe and the family safe, man. And uh, tune in when I drop the next one, man. Carnage Slaughter out.